hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be turning this bulk hair into hair weft so this is the same braiding hair i used for the afro crochet braid i did about two months ago so today i'm going to be transforming them from regular braiding hair into weft so that way i can use it for um, a wig Okay, so with that said, let's go straight into the video. So today I'm going to be using this clear tape. So I'm starting by putting the tape on the table, securing the tape to the table. I have a bottom one and a top layer right here, as you can see. So next, I'm going to be placing the braiding hair on top. So first, I start by taking a little bit of hair. So next, I'm going to go in with my brush to brush the, end, the, the hair just to help spread it out a bit before placing them on the tape. So right now I'm going ahead to place the hair on the tape, making sure to press it down to uh, secure the hair down to the tape. So again, doing the same thing, I started by taking a little bit of hair from that. And next I'm going with my brush to spread the hair out before placing it on the, uh, on the tape. So now that I'm done, I'm going in with another layer of tape on top of the hair to help secure the top in place. Although the clear tape is not as sticky as the paper tape, but it, it works. So so now that that is done, I'm going to remove it, uh, detach the tape from the table. And next step is to take it to my sewing machine and start making the weft. So I went ahead and did the rest of camera. And here you go. So starting off, I'm not going to be doing uh, a reverse or backstage because it's the beginning. So I'm just going to place the needle down and start sewing. So once I get to the end of the weft or to the end of the tape, as you can see right here, I'm going to uh, put the needle down and raise the presser foot up. So this way I can flip the hair around just like I'm doing in this video. So now that that is done, I place the presser foot back down. So now I'm going ahead to uh, continue sewing the hair. So I did that about eight, eight times. So yeah, so I just continue doing that. But once I get to the end, I lift up the press foot, turn the hair around and continue sewing. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be uh, folding the hair over the short side of the hair over just like this. So now I'm going to do a top stitch on the folded edge. Okay, so right now I'm going ahead to do a top stitch. And also today I'm only doing the single weft. I'm not going to be doubling the weft. I'm just going to go with the single weft method. I don't have enough hair to do the double weft today. So doing the same thing, once I get to the end, I'm going to um, put the needle down and lift the presser foot up. So again, just like that. And next I turn the hair around so that way I can do another row of um, another line of stitch all the way to the end. So make sure to do a back stitch to secure the thread in place. Okay, so now that that is done right now, I'm going ahead to remove the tape. So once you're done, it's easy to tear off the tape. So you just take the tape and uh, remove it just like I'm doing in this video. Okay, 
So as you can see, I have this short webs. So to extend the length, I'm going to be joining them together and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to take one end of the weft and I'm going to place it on top of the other one, just enough to secure it together. So now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and do a, a straight stitch or top stitch on the weft. Just place it together like this. Okay, so doing the same thing, I'm going to lift up the presser foot and flip the hair around just like this. Okay. Okay, so get to the end, I also make sure to do a back stitch to secure the thread in place. So here it is. This is the, uh, the part where I joined the weft. Can see right there so this allow you to have a continuous long weft for the bundle okay also for today i'm not going to be trimming the folded ends if you want you can trim it short but for today i'm not going to be trimming the hair just because i want a little bit of volume on the um roots of the hair once i sew it down so this is the hair bundle right here i made uh two this is it perfect okay so for the remaining hair the one i'm holding right now i'm going to be using it for a lace closure so that will be on the next video so in my next video i'm going to be showing you guys um the full um process of turning this hair weft into a wig and also making the lace closure for the wig okay so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed yet and turn on the notification bell. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. As always, please give this video a big thumbs up. All right. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.